say what you used to, I require more better than we have. But before we start any braiding, we are going to pre-section our hair. I'm telling you, it is going to save you so much time. I did decide to crochet this hair in because knotless braids and I, we just don't go together. Crocheting just lasts a lot longer and looks neater for a lot longer than knotless does. I did go ahead and wash this hair with some shampoo and conditioner before actually using it. And that's what you're going to see on the bottom screen. I got five bundles, y'all. But... I only use three and it's still so full. Once you pull the hair through your braid with a crochet needle, you're gonna create three sections. So the short hair, you're going to take some of that and put that with your real hair and just braid down. This hair though is from Y Wigs and I got the Ombre T1B for 27 deep curly human braiding hair in 24 inches now they were gracious enough to send your girl five bundles but i only used three so guess what i will be doing this style sometime in the future because this hair is absolutely beautiful okay now that you have your three pieces you're just gonna braid down and then you're going to also add your extra pieces for that boho look. And I like to add that extra piece on the bottom part of the braid so that way it really blends in seamless with the rest of the braid. I ain't gonna lie, this is not easy, but it's worth it, especially if you're doing it yourself because you're gonna be saving, like I say in all my other videos, 700 to to $1,000 if you learn how to do this yourself and if you have the patience. The key to making sure that this hair doesn't unravel is by taking a tiny bit of hair, a couple of strands from the braid, twisting it, um, creating little knots and then sealing it with some glue. I use the kiss glue. When this glue gets wet, it doesn't leave a white cast. Before you move on to the next braid, take a small scissor. Every woman should have a tiny scissor, y'all. So get you a tiny scissor from Amazon and cut these little stragglers, these little hairs that are sticking out of your braid. It'll make your braid look so much neater. Now let's do it again. So I like to use braiding gel. Any braiding gel you have will work just fine. Matter of fact, I ran out of braiding gel and I just used regular old Jagala beeswax and it worked just as fine. So you're gonna take your crochet needle and pull the hair through one side. The short side, you're gonna take a piece of the short side and add it to your natural hair. You're gonna add it to your braid. And then you're going to braid down. Patience is virtue with this hairstyle when you are doing it on your own. I am getting better and better every time I do this hairstyle, which is why I come back and show you all because it is a beautiful, protective, versatile hairstyle. And it's just one that I love. Big shout out to Y Wigs for hooking your girl up once again. Shout out to you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I will see you all in my next video. Please make sure you subscribe, comment, and of course, give your girl a big fat thumbs up. And share this with anybody who should do their own hair. Thank you. Say what you used to, I require more better than we ever had before. Gonna be hard, though I couldn't blame, blame, blame. Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, be surfing. I show you how to get this pay, who I be stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing. Me and Bane making plays till we crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dripping wetter from head to toe, la baby me. Yeah, I get what's mine. Let's remind them. Be my right. All guess. No way they gon' never pay us. No way they could ever break us. Oh, next we ain't gonna slow.
Keeps me on my toes 